Okay, guys, I'm going to make a quick video here. I had some questions about the truck here. Doing some, I always say, real-time tuning. Now that uh, HP Tuners supported it at some point with their Speed Density OS, which is what the truck is running. And I got my HP Tuners cable here. What's nice is you can fire up the truck and connect real-time tuning and just tune while you drive. Like someone can sit in the passenger seat, you can floor it, and if it's running 10 pounds of boost, you can go to the 10 pound part of the table, like 170 some KPA around there. I don't, don't quote me on that. And if it's super rich, you can trim it, and it will change the fueling immediately while you're driving. You can roll into it again and again and, and get it right, get it the way you want. And some people had questions about how to do that. Some people don't even know that it exists at all, and they just reflash and pull over and refresh reflash and pull over and you don't have to do that it's actually fucking nice so if you got HP tuners connected what you do is if you have you have to have a speed density tune that's important it has to be converted to speed density custom OS here already see this it says when you have HP tuners open you go to OS and it says three bar map speed density applied once you have everything converted, that's a whole separate subject. They have a decent write-up on how to do that. It actually was great. I used it no problem converting two cars over. And what you do is, once you have your tune open, your speed density tune, you go into engine in general, and it's right here on the main page. It says real-time tuning. This usually says disabled, I think by default. So you have to go in and hit VE, spark, PE, BE, which means it has the VE table, the spark table, the power enrichment, and the boost enrichment table enabled for you to do real-time tuning because you can do idle and knock and some other things in real time but only in a certain amount of capacity. I think, I'm not sure exactly how this works but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it loads the fuel table into RAM on the cable and it uses that and then when you're done you can copy and paste it into your tune. So it can only hold so much information at once most commonly you're going to only be using your VE, which is your fueling, your spark, obviously your ignition table. Power enrichment, uh, for when your throttle turns on the amount of fuel, uh, switching mode, and then boost enrichment, which is once boost comes in, it switches over. Again, that is what I always use anyway. That's really only what's important to me when I'm tuning. Once you have that turned on, if it was disabled, you need to reflash. If it was already on, you can just start your car. I'm not going to start this thing because it's going to be too fucking loud, but I'll key on and you will get the idea. What's neat here is you see up at the top, when you open up the VE scanner, there's your DTCs, which is your code scanner. There's VCM controls where you can turn on your fans and do strange shit, everything else. But what's neat is in here, it doesn't show it all the time. It's kind of weird. HP Tuners doesn't even disable it. It doesn't even show up until you... Let me key on here, and once you connect the scanner, which I'll just hit play right away, I always go right to scanning the data log, watch over here in the corner, Ta-da! you see this wrench and this lightning bolt? That says real-time tuning. When you bring it up, it looks just like the histograms table, because it is uh, very similar to a histogram. And these are the tables. This is your fuel table, timing table. And then this says here, e power enrichment EQ ratio table. And this is your boost enrichment table. They are not filled yet because you haven't downloaded them yet from the ECU. If you hit this one, it says use all RAM tables. What it does is, like I said, I'm guessing it loads them into random access memory into RAM on the cable or the computer or something. And then this says just use the RAM table. Using all RAM tables will take a while to download. The fuel table takes a while anyway. If you just hit this, let me turn this radio down. If you just hit this, it will download just the first table or whatever table you have selected. And if I hit it, watch this. See down here? It says reading RAM. When that's done, it will have loaded this gigantic VE table that the three bar speed density uses. Gigantic. So we will just wait. Well, I'm waiting already anyway. And once it has this fuel table online, you can change everything. 
like if you're driving around you know you're going to be in these cells in uh 2800 3000 lower range and under 100 kpa cruising around and if it's fat here or lean here you can see in real time you can use the scanner here also and pick up which map position you're at and what rpm and kind of guess and mess around watch your wide band and if you roll into boost what's nice is see this table is gigantic what's nice is if you use your histogram table here and you roll into it and you're using like spark advance here you can see how high it went like i'm sorry that's incorrect spark advance shows gram cylinders if you use like the wide band table or something that shows manifold pressure you'll see it'll like level off say it's running 185 kpa and it levels off up here you can go ahead and look in here and go oh the 185 table you can highlight it uh, you can highlight just the certain sections and then you can do your fuel changes from here in percentages or whatever you need to do and as soon as you hit enter it will upload you'll see if you change a large area it's going to take a lot of time so don't be dumb and highlight this whole fucking thing and make a change because it's going to take like another minute or two minutes to load the fucking fuel table tune and you just did so try to do a small section or like I said just highlight and you know your boost cells here and what I like to do is obviously over fuel roll into it you know okay it's rich and then trim by 10% 20% or so 20% is like if it coughs if it's like blah when you roll into it you can pull 20 20 is usually a pretty big number but five or ten percent till you get it where you want or when you're driving and boost but that's the real time table now what you have to do is if you key off you need to if you click the corner in HP tuners you should know this if you click the corner you can hit copy it'll copy the whole table of course and then if you go into your primary VE again and you click in the corner and you click paste you can paste in the whole table you need to do that when you're done if you forget and you close the scanner here like if you hit stop and close you will lose that whole fuel table you constructed and you will have to start over again basically so that's my tip for how to do real-time tuning and I hope this helps some of you out